Okay, John's got an Opto Pro ESC from Hobby King, and it's uh, 30 amps. 30 amp ESC. There is the part number. Now we have four of them on the quadcopter, but what we want to do is flash it with the Simon K firmware. So that's what we're going to be trying to do today. Okay, to flash the ESC, we're going to use this USB flash tool from uh, Hobby King. I ordered this special. Atmel chip connector thing here that should be able to just press on top of the Atmel chip to program it. I've used this once already to program some other things and that's I think this is the part number for it right here and uh, that's where I got it anyway Hobby King. I got both of these from Hobby King this was a separate order but anyway this little cable may come in handy and I'll put those links under the video. Uh, also, we're going to have to download the firmware that we're going to flash on the ESC. And we're going to have to get the KK2 flash tool and download that and put it on the computer. Now, if you've already flashed the uh, KK2 board, little quadcopter boards, uh, you would already probably have that flash tool. So, uh, that makes it easy for people who've already done the KK2, but if you haven't, you can just download it, no problem, and install it. Okay, what I'm doing here is I'm just going to show you what uh, beat pattern we get without the Simon K firmware. So, right now it hasn't been flashed. I've got a servo tester here, and that's where I've got the ESC plugged in. So I'm just going to energize the servo tester. There's the light. Okay, now I'm going to plug the battery into the ESC. Now listen for the beat. So that's what you get. And now I can rev it up. Move it back and forth like really fast. Alright. Again, this is what the beep sounds like without the Simon K firmware flash. So what John is about to do is cut open the heat shrink to expose the Atmel chip so that we can insert this chip clip onto it to do the programming. Just flip it over. Gonna oh. take the Made in China sticker out of the way. It's not certified for Europe now. <laughs> and uh, the chip we found is like right in here we believe so we're just gonna cut gently few slits around the chip just like on three of the four sides I'm going to give a little extra because the chip clip is big there it is right there okay so there's the chip let's see if the clip will fit on it I believe it will though you're going to try to fit the chip clip on there yeah it'll fit so there is pin one there. There's a close-up view. And the chip clip just has to go right on like that and be held there while it's programmed. It's going to get the voltage from the USB port, so we don't need voltage applied anywhere to the ESC, such as this cable or over here at the battery end. We don't need voltage at all because it's going to provide the voltage through the chip clip from the computer. Now you can get the driver for this USB flash tool right here at this link uh, and it's basically just the the latest driver for this tool. You can download it there. Now you also need the KK2 flash tool which you can get from Lazy Zero at the link I'm showing you right here. And the flash tool looks like this down here on the page. Uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Okay, to get the firmware you have to go to RC Groups to this link right here. Then right on the first page you click on this list link right here. And it takes you to a list of 
ESC types and the firmware that you will need to program that ESC type. So I've got to find my 30 amp opto ESC on this list and then find the firmware hex file name. I found the best way for me to get the Simon K firmware to flash my ESC was to go to the product on Hobby King which was the 27776 part number and then just basically scroll down to the files tab here's the files tab right here under the product I just click that and then you'll see underneath that Multistar 30 Simon K firmware so I just click that and it downloads it right here I've already previously downloaded and then you can just show folder and there it is I got two copies now but I found that was the easiest way so I put the KDA hex file right here in with my flash tool, the KK, KK flash tool right here. I'm going to run the 32-bit version and do the flashing. Actually, John's going to do the flashing, I think. But there it is. We're ready to roll. Okay, so John just plugged in the USB ASP programming card right there into the USB port. And now he's going to get ready to set everything up to program. So we're going to go to the flash tool and launch the flash tool. Uh, Cancel. We're just going to use the version we got. Uh, now we got to do the setup. Okay, so we picked this one here that for our... Now your uh, programmer may be different, but it's just what we chose for this one. And uh, then we make sure it says USB for ours as well. And then we go down here to the board. We pick AT Mega 8K ESC. We got an enable bootloader. You want to do the enable bootloader for it? Yeah, go ahead and enable the bootloader. We didn't have that last time. We'll try that just as an experiment. Then we can and, use uh, the cable from it to program yeah. it later. And then we're going to go select file. And we already have it loaded, but you would go to click this button here and it would bring up a dialog to find the file. Alright, show them how and, that uh, works just for fun of it. Okay, so and you find you the file. Pick the file. Pick the file there. Ah, well, sometimes you gotta do it just right. Ah, triple clicked it. There it goes. All right, now and we got the file. Then you take the clip here. You line it up. Clip, line the clip up. That's hard to get the camera. And then uh, he's now I'm going to be on the screen. You ready? All right, I'm getting back on the screen. Okay, so then you hit this button here. And then and there it goes. Going through the process. And if you don't get any red and it says successful after you're done, there it is. That's it. Yeah. Okay, John's getting our servo tester and batteries hooked back up so we can listen to the difference in the beep tones now that we've got the Simon K on. Are we ready? Alrighty, so this is with the Simon K flash. Oh yeah, huge difference. And That's responsive. Very responsive now, too. I can't even do it fast enough to make it not respond. Cool. This is what the beep sounds like without the Simon K firmware flash. Okay, this is with the Simon K flash. Wait, hold on. Beeps with the Simon K flash. This is what the beep sounds like without the Simon K firmware flash. Beeps with Simon K flash. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well, the tape won't come out. Okay, John's going to put a little bit of green electrical tape to cover up the flap of the ESC that we carved open. Not the prettiest green, but it'll work, right? Oh, you just put a patch on it. I thought you were going to wrap one completely around. No, that'll hold it good enough. Okay, just a patch job. Yeah. Alrighty, pretty cool. So that's it. That's the Simon K Flash. Now in conclusion, Hobby King also sells the Afro ESCs that are pre-flashed with Simon K firmware. So you don't have to go to all the trouble you just saw me do. But you can also get the Afro USB programming tool so that you can uh, flash firmware later, say a new version of uh, the Simon K comes out, you can then flash these afros using the same KK 
2 programming tool that you saw me use on the computer. So it's done the same way as the other ESCs, you just use this programming tool and uh, the same software. And it's even got the website here to get firmware and whatnot. So that might be another way you could go, it might be a little easier. And that's available on Hobby King. The part number is right there. And for the flashing tool, it's right there. So that's it. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. We'll talk to you later.